this shit really feeds my soul and that shit is crazy. Once you find something that puts you at ease, I feel like the rest of your life just fall into place because this shit is crazy, bro. I challenge y'all to just sit back and take like a little spiritual journey within yourselves and just find the person y'all want to be because when I found the person I wanted to be, everything else falling into place. And all in all, bro. Yo, what's good with y'all? Welcome back to the channel, you feel me? KD back in the building, but... I just want to start off by saying this video is not a nutritional video. This video is not a fitness video. This is just my journey through the last seven months on the platform, starting from November 2nd when I first started my YouTube till today. I don't even know today's date, bit to be real with y'all. June 10th. So, you're not going to hear about me talking about what workouts to do or what to eat, bit. This is just what happened to me. And, you know what I'm saying? This is just my little story. So, here we go. On the road to 300 subs, man, you know what I'm saying? Some light shit, you feel me? Hey, y'all, bro. I just had barbacoa from Chipotle today for the first time, and this shit slap, boy. This shit is different. This shit good as fuck. When I first came on the platform in November of 2020, bro, I was 225 pounds, 230 range. And I had never been that heavy in my life before. But it didn't affect my like confidence. It didn't affect who I was. Like I was still kadosh, you know what I'm saying? Like I was still having fun, still outgoing. These hoes were still choosing. <laughs> but basically, bro, I've never been that heavy in my life, and it really happened from just drinking beer and playing 2K all the fucking time. Dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. What? <sighs> what? Bitch. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Fuck. Right. I made this YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? To try something different and be creative and shit. And, to, and for it to be an extension of who I was, you feel me? So, like, I obviously knew I was going to be playing basketball a lot on there. But, like, I don't know. I didn't expect to lose weight. But, like, you can see it. In, like, November and December, bro, like, my cheeks was big. My stomach, like, bulged out. My arms was big as fuck. Like, the only thing that made me really insecure about my weight was that I couldn't move on the court how I wanted to. I lost all my speed. I barely had any speed to begin with, but I lost all my speed, all my athleticism, and it really got me feeling like, damn, bro. Like, I knew I could still hoop, but, like, I lost something that was, like, really critical to my game. And I don't know. That didn't really matter because I was so focused on, you know, being niche specific with YouTube. And the more I found out about YouTube and the algorithm and that you need a niche down, I was just like, all right, I'm going to put out more basketball content as much as I can. So I just continue to be consistent. This is the same shirt I had on in that video. And like now that shit just fit me like a like a ghost, bit. Like this shit barely fit. Like I'm, this shit big as fuck. Like it's crazy. Somewhere in between January and March, I really bought into like finding my niche and like building my channel and putting a lot of content and a lot of videos out so that the algorithm would like fuck with me in a sense. So I was hooping my ass off. Like I remember going to Veterans Park like two, three times a week, making them little COVID hoop videos and just all out. Really, I was head hunting for content, bro. I was head hunting for content. But I can remember people coming up to me at work and being like, damn, bro, you slimming up. Damn, bro, you slimming up for real? Like, boy, you getting skinny. And I remember niggas on the court being like, damn, you dribbling again. Like, okay, oh, you coming back. And I'm like, nigga, where I go? Nigga, I've been busting y'all last for years, bitch. What can you saying? But um, I could slowly feel like the weight coming off of me the more like I was doing it. As it should, though, like I'm hooping every day, but I better drop some pounds. But like, I wasn't even thinking about it like that. I was just like, man, let me go. Let me go hoop and get a video. Let me go hoop and get a video. Let me see whose ass I can bust. And it just kept going like that. And I just kept being consistent. It wasn't until like late March that I was like, all right, man, I'm really finna start working out. Like, and I was in the sand pit just, really just to get a grip on my life. Really, I just go out there and work out just to think about what I gotta do for the day, get my mind right and other shit like that. And that shit became like a weekly thing. And honestly, I don't know if that shit helped me lose a lot of weight. But that shit really made my legs strong as hell, bro. And that shit, all in all, I really did benefit from that. And that shit is crazy. I was getting a lot of 1v1s out the way. And what really what really made me, like, think about this shit for real is when I played um, a local guy in my city that's 6'8". And he, he ain't torched me, torched me, but he beat me.
and that shit left me like hungry bro it left me really hungry and I was just in the gym hooping every day like not even hooping but I'll just be working on my game like specific stuff and I'd be like yo I'm really turning into something like I'm out here working on my fucking jab step pull up bro fucking hezzy pull up from three I'm working on a whole bunch of different stuff I never worked on bro and it's just like I'm like okay I'm turning into something that I like and I'm like I'm I'm working like a pro in a sense like and that kind of sounds lame but I'm like I'm really working and I like got a head on my shoulders and that shit was just such a surreal feeling because a nigga like me I never had my head on my shoulders I never know what I want to do like I really just be in the house cooling like Damn, I dropped my phone. At that point in time, I just knew I was like, I want to get better at basketball. I want to beat anybody in front of me. And I'm naturally a competitive dude. So with that competitive fire mixed with YouTube, I was like, how can I lose, bro? And I just started jumping, jumping into different workouts and going to the gym at crazy times, three times a week. And um, that's really when I started shedding hella weight, bro. And then I got a couple more 1v1s out the way. Like niggas was not. Niggas was not trying to play against me, bro. And I believe my favorite court opened up in like late May, bro. Stupid. And when that shit opened up, bro, I lost at least 10 pounds because I was hooping every day at Shadow Bay, bro. Like one thing that kept me and my friends really close was hooping at Shadow Bay. So like whenever I go there, it just makes me think of them. And it's like, it's low key like one of my little happy places, bro. Like. So I was there at least three times a week hooping, and that's when niggas was like, damn, boy, you losing weight for real, boy, and I just be like, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. But um, unfortunately, I got injured, so I haven't been hooping for like the last two months. So whenever I find out what's up with my knee, I'm gonna be back hooping, but until then, I'm just trying to eat healthy and keep, my, keep a head on my shoulders, because this shit really fucking with me, like, me not being able to hoop and doing something I love that's like a burning passion, like, I probably love hooping just as much as some niggas in the league. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I probably love hooping in some fucking pros, to be real. Like, this shit really feeds my soul, and that shit is crazy that, like, I don't know, bro. You just never know, bro. And I just want y'all... I want y'all to find something that feeds y'all soul, too, you feel me? Because once you find something that puts you at ease... I feel like the rest of your life just fall into place because this shit is crazy, bro. Like, I haven't been this weight since high school, middle school, been like 175. Like, I know I'm a string bean and I could have a little bit more size. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I need some size, but like, like I haven't been this content with looking in the mirror at myself in at least three or four years, bro. And I haven't been this passionate about something since like, I was trying to play Juco football, bro. Five, four years ago, bro. And that's that really speaks volume bro and i just want y'all to know that whatever happens in y'all life bro it's never too late and y'all just need to stick by what y'all love and really find who you are type shit bro and like a lot of niggas ain't doing that no more it's just about money and egos and a whole bunch of extra shit but i challenge y'all to just sit back and take like a little spiritual journey within yourselves and just find the person y'all want to be because when i found the person i wanted to be everything else falling into place like my, my cheese getting right my weight getting right you know what i'm saying my mind is right and all in all bro i feel like i'm winning as a person and you can't really beat that feeling but anyway y'all if you're new to the channel i appreciate you for sitting here watching with me like comment subscribe we are on the road to 300 on the road to 300 it's not a gang sign on the road to 300 man we gonna be there before the end of june though on me, we gonna be there before the end of June, bro. On me, we gonna be there before the end of June, man. On me, we gonna be there before the end of June, man. On me, we gonna be there before the end of June, man. Appreciate all the support, man. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. We is fucking out of here, man. Double G wrapped up in Gucci fabric like they sponsor me. Hit the club and we fuck up the lot of spread our cross the street. Mac and cheese is all up in the bowl, you know we gotta feed. They seeing all these rats and how they stuffed up in they robbing jeans.